Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with another Let's Play Franchise Mode episode. And in the previous episode, I am on the way other side than I wanted to talk about. <laughs> so let me just move real quick to the giant ant eaters because in the previous episode, we added these awesome, awesome animals in our zoo. And I really love this shallow water, by the way. It's like super nice that they can still drink from it and they can walk in it, but I'm not really sure actually if they can swim. I actually start to remember that someone did mention that in the comments of this episode that the giant anteater does swim. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. They can cool down at least in this water section right over here. And I did got a lot of questions. Why are you not combining the giant anteater with like the beard tapir or the capuchin monkey or even both of them? And the reason for that is actually really easy because what do we do with this whole South America area then? If we all combine them in one habitat, then I don't really have any animals left to add in this area. So that's why I'm not going to combine them because I just don't want to. <laughs> I want to have another uh, two habitats right over here for the capuchin monkey and for the beard tapir. Oh, and we also have the llamas, of course. That is going to be exciting to have some llamas in. So yeah, that's why we're not going to combine any animals in this region because we just don't really have that many animals for it, unfortunately. So there are a few things I really want to check out. The first thing we need to do is we need to do some research for the giant anteater because that one is still free. And we also need to do some training from our staff. I feel like there are a lot... Uh, staff members, can I just select them like this? Yes, I can. That's right. So we can do trainings for each and every one of them. Can I select you like that? It's going to be easier if I click here, right? <laughs> so we need to do a lot of training for all these new staff members. They already had a, a little bit of training, but not enough. So I think it's a good one to really make sure that they all get... At least one more star. We now have the vendors and this is the last one. This is a vet. So, okay. So we're all going to do some training. What I also, by the way, did, I gave some perks to all these staff rooms. Now, honestly, you should maybe actually check where the staff room is and then see like what is the best thing to do. I wasn't really up for that. So I just divided it a little bit and something that is useful for basically almost any staff member it doesn't really matter which one they use but i did get some more perks in they were all without any perks so yeah we have some staff healthcare social club security office staff pr course and rec room um so yeah that's the only thing we have at the moment Let's have a look. What else do I really want to check out? That is the finances. The finances are right over here. We have a lot of expenses, but still we are earning money. It's not that much though. So I would like to see if there's anything. Well, of course, the staff wages <laughs> is a lot. We have a lot of stuff going on. Animal food is not really anything we can do about that. Power cost. I actually wonder if there's anything we can do about this. As long as we do earn money, I guess that is all okay. I did raise the uh, shop, no, the ticket sales a little tiny bit. So that is going to give us a little bit more money. We now have 4,900 guests in our zoo. And what is the maximum we are allowing in our zoo right now? 5,000. So we still have like 90 people that are able to get into our zoom uh, we don't have any rides so far i know that i mentioned that i think in the beginning that we maybe could add a ride but not really sure anymore if i want to do that to be completely honest i don't really see anything really fitting in here and i think i mentioned the safari ride and well as you can see <laughs> I don't really see safari ride added in this region anymore but gosh this is just so cool isn't it the elephant habitat is looking so awesome. Really, really love how this one has turned out with this building. So 
Yeah, Nathanek built this awesome building, and I know that I use a lot of Nathanek stuff. I'm going to try and use other stuff too in this episode. <laughs> but I do still have this really cool Primus apartment by Nathanek, and it's probably going to be used by orangutans, but I want to do so many new things, or so many different things in this episode, so I have no idea if we are actually able to add an animal in this episode, where we're going to see what we can do. Because I also really want to check out some heat maps for a change. Uh, that's not here. <laughs> I want to check the temperature. Yes, yeah, the temperature. Because I was thinking not all the habitats are completely covered. So for example, this one. How are you feeling with the temperature in your habitat? Okay, you are not complaining at all you're complaining a little bit about the plants but i don't really mind that but the temperature is all good but it's 34 degrees okay that's right so what i want to check if we can find any cooler or is that the cooler we use for here what is your temperature what do you like superior map okay that is 42 okay so we do need to make sure that you are getting a little bit more uh, coolers in your habitat. So we're just going to add two on the sides, I feel. Or only one. I'm not really sure how big your region is. But let's just make sure that this one is uh, 35. It doesn't have to be like a huge difference. So I'm going to add one more here. And maybe we can add just one more right over here. Wait a second, do I see baby? Uh, I think I see babies in this habitat. Oh my god, Is do we really have the baby boom right now? I'm gonna lower these into the ground real quick. Wait a second. You are a little baby. Oh my god, how many babies did we get? How many babies? Seven. We have five babies. Oh my goodness, five babies. <laughs> okay, okay, but this is a good thing. So we need to just make sure that you get contraceptives now uh, because <laughs> else we are screwed. Because we don't want any more babies until these all grow up right over here now. And uh, that's Hamid. You can get contraceptives here too. Hi lovelies. Gosh, why are these animals so underrated? Tell me in the comments down below. I absolutely love the now monitors. They are so cool and so beautiful. And I know that they're for some reason just not as popular as other animals from Planet Zoo. I don't know why. I really don't understand. They're so awesome. I really, really like these animals. They're so cool. They're just absolutely awesome. Really, really love the now monitor. I really don't get it. <laughs> okay, okay. Temperatures, temperatures. Let's have a look. Are there any other animals that really could use? Like, how about the hippo, for example? Oh, you're gonna play with your Skittles. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I love that. That's so amazing. Okay, so if we're going to check the Zoopedia map at 37, now I do know we get above 40 degrees really easily. It's already 39 degrees, so we do also need... Oh, look at that little one run over here. Oh, oh, yes. Poop loop. No. <laughs> we um, recently had a live stream where we were building a hippo habitat for the safari boat ride. And... Um, I had the game on pause. I'm going to pause it now too. I don't know why I did that, but... <laughs> um, and we were uh, playing and I uh, all of a sudden had the game on pause and I went to a hippo nearby and there was a poop loop. Uh, so you, you just heard a constant loop of poop and I'm sorry. I just forever now will think about that. Do let me know in the comments if you were there during that live stream. It was hilarious. I really, really enjoyed <laughs> that live stream. We had such a laugh, but yeah, that's why. Do we also need to add, um, add them in the water? I can't really remember. Although we didn't really have complaints, so I think we can get away with just a few of them. Right over here on the edges. I think we can get away with that. 
Um, let's have a look. Do you... Huh, look at this cute little one. <laughs> you are so adorable. Look at this little toes tapping into the water. So adorable. You are adorable. <laughs> oh my god, look at him. Oh, they're so awesome, aren't they? Uh, heart shelter is 71%. I... I'm not really sure if I actually want to expand this. I think 95% welfare is actually just really good. Uh, meal quality. We can change a little bit of the meal quality, though. Um, where was that? Oh, no, wait. Do we need to click the fence right over here? We do have... Um, we need to pay attention to this. Now, this one is not that much of a difference. But especially with um, uh, meat eaters... If you change that too often, or like too high, we could actually go in depth real quick. So I'm not really a fan of that. Like we already have a lot of expenses uh, due to food, animal food. Um, 15. I'm not really sure if we want to do that. We can, we can change that right over here, right? I think so. Quarantine food. Uh, now monitors eat meat. So they still have great one. I think I'm going to change everything on great three. That is not a meat eater. Uh, Indian rhino, we can change it to great two. Uh, Sable antelope can also be great three. Giant anteater is only great one still. Raintail lemur can be great two now. Debungo, hippopotamus. And we have saltwater crocodile. Can go to grade 3, but I'm not really sure if I want to do that just yet. Grade 3 for camels. Oh, yes. Uh, you are also meat eater. You are meat eater. You already have this. I'm not really sure if I want to change that. Uh, grade 3, grade 3. And the last one is elephants. Oh, elephants eat so much, don't they? <laughs> okay, I'm going to change it for the elephants too. Uh, you are also, oh, well, I'm not going to change it back. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay, let's have a look what other animals could maybe use a little bit less. It's still 39 degrees, though. Camels are probably fine with anything. What are you doing? Are you mating? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, is that there? What are they fighting? Are you a male? <gasps> is this Rudy and Rudy Jr? Oh, they, oh my God, you kidding me? Wow, that was so cool. Well, it's obviously not really intended to be cool, but I don't know. I just really like the animations of it. That was awesome. Okay, but I don't really think that the camels really need anything, like... 44 degrees? I think we can get away with that, actually. I, I think I'm gonna leave the camels for now. Uh, there could potentially be other animals, though, that do need... Oh my gosh, that do need more. Oh my god, <laughs> look at this. This is insane, the coverage of it. This is like the, the giraffes and ostrich and those kind of animals. Giant anteater does not have any coolers in here. I wonder if you need any. Zoopedia at 42 degrees. It's definitely going to be hot in this. What is that? Why is there food? Oh, wait. Giant anteater also eats meat, right? Or not? I guess this is meat. Didn't think of that. Giant anteater. Hmm, interesting. Why is there food there? I, I don't understand. Maybe we need to add another one right over here. Okay, so let's see. Maybe we can just add also one or two coolers. You don't have to add too many of them, but just to make sure that they just... Yeah, 30 degrees. I think that's fine. And just add one more on that side. I don't think we need more of them, but just in case. It's going to cost us, though. It's going to cost us a lot of money. 
Look at this one. Are you drinking? That's so cool. It does look way more realistic. Did they change anything with the animations? Like sometimes it looks super wonky, but maybe it's just because of the angle that it's just all right. I don't know, it just looked way better than I, I earlier saw, I guess. Okay, let's see if we have any other animals. How about the jaguar? How about the jaguar? For some reason, I felt like there was an animal escaped or something. I don't know why I didn't <laughs> think of that. Um, we should have, there we are, beautiful black panther. Hello, lovely. Um, okay, 95%. Let's check the zoopedia. Are you stuck again in this habitat? 42? Okay, it's 44 degrees. So that means that you would be complaining right now about the temperature and you are about to start and complain about the temperature. So also we need to make sure that oh, it's a pretty hard one. Like this makes you realize how hard it actually is to have animals in the desert like even the tropical uh, desert animals they still are not really happy when you start to uh when you add them in a desert franchise like you still need to make sure that you add a few coolers in their habitat if you really want them to be happy of course now obviously as i said like we did not see any protesters in our zoo, so it's not like that big of a deal. But yeah, I don't know. I just felt like I had to check it and make sure that the uh, the jaguars are happy in their habitat. So and, and all the other animals too, of course. So just to make sure that we check that. Okay, so these are lowered in the ground. Um, oh, look at this cutie. Hey, lovely. <laughs> I don't know what it is with this habitat, but all the jaguars look so wonky in this habitat. But still, you're super cute. It's it's probably me to blame that you guys all look super wonky in this habitat. I just probably uh, messed this whole habitat up for you guys. But look at you. You're so adorable. The habitat looks lovely though, so we just have to uh, pretend that we're not seeing it. I still don't know why we don't, don't have black jaguar cups in here instead of uh, the normal colored one. But who knows? Wait, are you already grown up? Wait, we have two males in here? Wait. Oh, what? Wait! Did you just grow up? Huh? We still have more... Wait, are you? Oh, yes. Okay, you're just growing up. Right. Okay, so that means I'm going to put you up in the trading center because those two just grew up right under our face. <laughs> so let's have a look at the animal training center. What can we ask for the jaguars? I have no idea what they are worth. Wow. That's, that's basically nothing, but this one is not fertile. Uh, okay, let's just check the normal one. So 400, I think I'm gonna go for 400. If we can't, we have a, we have, okay, I'm gonna train you for 500 instead. This is a golden status. Uh, no, let's make it 600. No, not, <laughs> okay, let's make it 600 trade. And I'm gonna do this one for 500. Okay, trade. Okay, so that is perfect. We still have all these animals right over here. So I'm, I think I'm just gonna release those in the wild because it's not really working super well to put them up for adoption right now. Wait, what? You're going to die of old age? You kidding me? Oh my gosh. I don't want you to. Please don't. Oh my gosh. And there he went. Oh, that's so sad. Rest in peace, Lavana. Oh my god, you keep are you kidding me? That is the worst timing ever. You're just ignoring Lavana lying here. Dead. Why are you still moving? <laughs> I um 
I don't know. Is that the wind? I hope it is. Oh my god, that giraffe is like, oh yeah, I'm just here minding my own business. Eating my own meals. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Wait, is this a male or a female? Okay. Um, mm, I think the rest is also going to die of old age really soon. Yeah, there are a lot of elderlies in here. Or at least two elderlies. Can we just put you guys... Uh, up for rehome. No, we can't really. Okay, now yeah, we need to check the black wildebeest habitat very soon to make sure that we keep on getting babies and stuff. Okay, uh, there are a lot of common warthogs right now also maturing, so that is a good one to check. So we have hello. <laughs> I missed your noises. I love it. You don't really have water to clean yourself, can you? Oh, well, they can with a sprinkler, I guess. Oh my gosh. Hello, lovelies. Oh, I love these sounds. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's just hilarious to me. Um, let's have a look via this menu because I feel like that is better and easier to do because we're getting pretty... We had a lot of baby warthogs, didn't we? Oh, no, it's not that, that bad, actually. <laughs> um, who is about to grow up? These two are about to grow up. So I think I'm just going to give these two contraceptives for now and we're going to put them up for adoption. Um... Yeah, they have they have a golden rating, which is actually really good for a warthog. I'm proud of you, Pumba. Pumba did such a great job. Where's Pumba? Where are you, Pumba? There you are. Naughty, naughty Pumba. <laughs> so hopefully uh, Pumba is going to give us some new babies as, long, uh, as soon as the babies are gone, of course. I think uh, Pumba will not disappoint us. Uh, are you going to use that mud bat for me? Please do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you don't. What? Oh my god. Those sounds of those babies. It's so hilarious. I love it. Well, it doesn't look like Pumba wants to use the mud bat while we are looking, unfortunately. <laughs> They're just like real animals, right? You want them to do anything, but they don't. That's exactly what they do. Okay, let's have a look at the temperature map. Is there any other animal that... How about the koalas? We have a walk-in habitat here and does not really look like... Oh my god, we're having more saltwater crocodiles? Okay, okay, we need to check that too. Um, it does not really look like we have any coolers in here. You're already an elderly. What is the temperature you like in here? Also 42 degrees, so we also need some coolers in this habitat with the koalas. Um, well, I, I guess it's a win-win because our guests also like to walk in a cooler environment right over here. I think I'm gonna put it on 27 and just cover the path with it so we have a win-win also for our guest at the same time. I think our guest can really appreciate uh, this. <laughs> we help them a little bit with the temperature and I'm going to lower these into the ground. Okay, I think I got them all. So let's lower these into the ground. And I think we got that all covered. Let's have a look at the saltwater crocodile because you are about to get offspring, but that does mean did we already do anything with the offspring they already had recently? I'm not really sure about that. I can't really remember that we did. That means that we have to... Wait. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think we need to give you contraceptives because we're getting more offspring in and the others didn't grow up yet, right? The kangaroo is about to get offspring. Do you have any temperature issues in here? Let's see. Zoopedia map. Also 42. Oh my goodness. This is, um, yeah. It's, it's actually quite a thing, isn't it? <laughs> Why did we never check this before? 
Oh my gosh, I'm gonna give you uh, 34, just a few. I don't wanna cover it all, but just to make sure, oh, that is in a tree, that's not what we wanna do. Just to make sure that we can have a little bit more cooler areas for the animals and a little bit less complaints. So let's put you in the ground. Where is that crocodile now? So you are having offspring really soon. I actually am not really disappointed. How many offspring can you get? Like, it's okay, I guess. I think it takes a long while for them to grow up. Uh, one to four, uh, 14 years. That's a long while, actually. So it's a good thing that we're now going to give them contraceptives. I do want to check this now. Um, so 2.8 years old. Oh my god, that's going to take a while. But do they actually complain about the size of the habitat or anything? Last meal quality is really low. Maybe we can... Uh, I don't know if I want to. Are we still earning money? Are we still doing well, even though we did change a little bit? How about the power cost? Last year, two years ago, it's going up. And we have uh, no more food also going up right now total profit is going lower i'm not really sure if i dare to do that to be honest i don't think i want to do that just yet uh oh 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 we have more babies in what are you nope 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 another female and another feet wait are you kidding me you're only getting females in here well that's fine i'm curious how much would they cost if i put them on the uh on the market if I check the saltwater crocodile, just curious. Like, obviously, they're not grown up yet. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, no, I'm definitely gonna give contraceptives. I'm not going to uh, make this a breeding program or anything out of it because we're not really earning that much from them. But it's nice to see the guests are really enjoying this habitat right over here. Do we need another plate in here? I'm not entirely sure. It's very dark in here, but it's changing already. I'm just just gonna try and see if they really need. I'm not really sure. It's a pity that they're not really standing here, though. This is like the nearest by viewing gallery for these babies. Look how cute. <laughs> they're so adorable. These are all females. Am I correct? They're all females. That's insane. Hello, daddy. Oh my god. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? These animals are so beautiful and majestic. It's insane, actually. Okay, let's see if we can check any other animal. What do we have here to cast a wary? They have a lot of shade from the trees, uh, but I doubt if they are happy. Like, obviously, all these animals are complaining. So, of course, the cassowary is doing the same thing. So, I'm also going to add a few coolers in their habitat. Uh, now, while we're at it, anyways, let's go into that. So, 30 degrees. I, th I think that's already enough. I hope, at least. It's going to give them a little bit more cooler environment and i think this is already enough oh man i have no idea how the cassowary is doing at the moment so let's have a look hello lovely 92 percent last meal quality ah uh, what does the cassowary eat because didn't i just change that or do they eat meat i'm not sure to be honest oh it's a little bit dirty in here so i'm gonna call a keeper to the habitat where is the gate again? Oh, that's here. So we can maybe... Hmm, yeah, let's put this one on grade three. And you are still on Jubilee. So there are not really that many more Casperys in here. Oh, these sounds are just so cool, aren't they? I love it. They're so awesome. <laughs> Uh, this one is also not expecting offspring, so I'm not really sure. Well, I guess it's because of this baby, so that's why 
she is not up for it just yet. So we just have to be patient to get some more cassowaries in here. But I think everything is going pretty decent for the cassowary at the moment. So I think we got them all, didn't we? We already have coolers in here, I'm pretty sure. Um, what is this habitat? The rhino. Wait a second. The Indian rhino. How are you feeling about the temperature in your habitat? 40 degrees. You are also not going to be happy at all. So oh, I need to... I'm, oh, I'm curious if we're getting offspring uh, in here. That will be super amazing, actually. I didn't really... Uh, pay attention to that yet i'm not really sure if we have enough research for them uh but i'm definitely going to check if we maybe already have a bonus and how they are doing in their habitat so uh, to get some offspring maybe she's already pregnant you never know oh see she uh has offspring due to october year 58 oh that's gonna take a long while from now but that's because we have slow aging going on she's hungry though don't we have we have a barrel feeder here we have a feeder there why is there not a keeper on its way oh wait is that the keeper no it's not a keeper um i think we need to call a keeper i would have stayed longer to see me in rhino oh i'm so sorry to hear that i think we definitely need to make sure do we have a keeper assigned to this section right over here i'm not actually not really sure um work zone do we have something with a rhino we have a rhino do we have a keeper caretaker a keeper assigned to rhino we have chris where are you chris why are you not doing your job where are you chris i don't see you oh there you are okay you are already preparing food for the Indian rhinos. That is perfect. This is the first Asian animal we have in our zoo. Make sure they will survive. <laughs> um, oh gosh, yes. There is a lot of litter also in our zoo. So I need to make sure that I have a lot of bins. Uh, okay, la one more last check. We have coolers everywhere we don't have coolers in the elephant habitat so i'm guessing that is the last one i'm not really sure how the sable antelope is uh hanging on here hanging in there <laughs> uh 40 degrees of course it is you had a lovely mud bat didn't you i i oh femi <laughs> okay let's see uh, blah, blah, blah. here zoopedia map 44 degrees thank you but um yeah we actually just need to make sure that the sable antelope is also going to be happy in this habitat so we do need some coolers anyways unfortunately gosh i really like this habitat this is looking so cool with the viewing galleries still having like this closed off a little bit so it's not like you look into the whole habitat right away so it really has its own segments for our guests to really explore this habitat. I really do like that. Also from this side. I think it looks awesome. And then we have this underwater viewing. Are they actually guests already here? No, not yet. Not yet, but there are also no elephants in here, so... Why would they? Still haven't seen this animation though, but who knows. Maybe they will. Okay, wait, let me just add... Do we already have some babies in here? You are! Lulu! Hi, Lulu! Oh, wait! Wait, is... <clears throat> <clears throat> Was that a derpy bungo face sound that I heard? If so, I will be super disappointed. <laughs> Why? You have the exact same sound as a bongo derpy face. What is going on here? Frontier, you're disappointing me. Or anyone that works in a zoo and does know these animals 
do they have the exact same sound as a bongo derpy face? Tell me, because I am a little bit surprised. <laughs> Here it is. I guess this is the first time I'm seeing these cute animals. You, it's definitely, I know, I know the sounds of the derpy bongo face. <laughs> Why is that? Tell me. Anyone, if you know, because I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm really disappointed about this. All right, let me just quickly add some coolers in here. Okay, and lower these in the ground. Okay, so at least they do have... Wait, are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> Move you into the ground right over here and uh, replace this tree again. Oh my god, what did I just do? Uh, put you right over here, I guess. Okay, so we now have coolers in here. So that means we have all habitats covered right now, which is actually really, really great. Niala is fighting for alpha status. I'm not really sure if we... Hmm, do we have more males in here now? I actually thought we already had this fixed the last time. Oh, yes. Okay, wait. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Nadel. We have Nadel. How old is Nadel? Nine and a half years old. And then we have uh, Funsani. Funsani just grew up. And who are your parents? Nadel and Zakija. Okay, so I think we need to... Uh, I'm going to release you in the wild. And we're going to make sure that the other young one... Um... Okay, we still have one male. Uh, oh, wait, that was it, I guess. Yeah, okay, no, perfect. Okay, we fixed that already. Uh, do we have anything else that we missed out on here? Black June Camel, uh, Common Warthogs are probably mature now. Okay, yes, we have more adults in here. So I'm going to make sure that those two are being released in a while because I'm pretty sure that we're not getting any noticeable conservation credits out of it there we go and what else we have veteran camel saltwater crocodile we've seen red-eyed tree frog it died you kidding me red-eyed tree frog died um i'm not really sure what exhibit they are in but we probably need to fix that even though we don't have and have guests still here <laughs> Um, rattlesnake, where are you? To run too loud, there we go. Do we still have one in? Uh, we have Miguel, is an elderly. Uh, okay, so make sure that we get some red eye tree frog males in. Just add two more males, I, I don't really mind. How old are you actually? Miguel, how old are you? Okay, they're not getting too old, so I guess we just uh, fill this in with two young males, and I think that is going to be fine. I'm actually not really sure. Can we see uh, the exhibit animals? I think we should also have an overview of that. I can't really see. Okay, th I think that species three, two, two three three four eastern blue tongue lizard so that means that we got some babies in here i think because i did not add that many of them in here we have three males interesting that is really interesting we have three males so i guess this one is the older one and that is a female so i guess i'm going to uh, can we just sell these? How does that work again? Ah, oh, it's been so long since I ever did anything with these animals. Oh, I can just quick thread it for money. Okay, perfect. Okay, well that was everything we needed to do, I guess. So, I actually really wanted to make sure... <laughs> wanted to do more this episode. But... It has been, uh, it, it took quite some time to get over all these animals, but I just really also just enjoyed uh, having a little look at all the animals we already have in our zoo, so I, I guess it wasn't really that much of a big deal. Um, is there anything we... negative impact? There is a lot of litter at some points, so I really need to make sure that we have some more 
bins like over here there's a lot of bin uh there are, there are bins actually there are bins right next to it oh my goodness there are bins these are just naughty naughty guests i guess that's the problem they're just lazy to throw it in this bin they're too hot probably <laughs> i guess so gosh this is looking so cool all right, guys, it's uh, no animal for today, but I do really enjoy doing a little bit more managing today. So really hope you guys enjoyed. In the next realm, we're definitely going to add another animal and I will definitely make a poll on the community wall again for you guys to vote on what kind of animal we are going to. What are you doing here? Did you see that? They're just stuck here again. I think this is the same path we had earlier so just remove ctrl z get it back i remember that there was a group of people earlier that was also stuck in here i don't know <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like and video if you guys enjoyed subscribe of course if you haven't already and if you want to support the channel a little extra you may want to consider to become a faith member with the link down in the description or the join button of youtube thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you guys enjoyed and I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!